All right, guys, so in this section 4.4, which is a trigonometric function, what we need to do, first of all, is uh, in this problem number one, we uh, use the example number two and switch the value for A and B. So the first thing you want to do is consider the right triangle. And uh, uh, because you have this uh, right triangle, <coughs> we need to find the hypotenuse. How do we find the hypotenuse? We find the hypotenuse by doing a, uh, using the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem say that says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the two uh, shorter legs. Uh, and so it's going to be a square plus b square. So c is going to be equal to the square root of a square plus b square. In that case, c is going to be the square root of, uh, let's put that this way, 7 square plus 4 square. So c equal the square root of 49 plus 16. And so we get c equal the square root of uh, 65. Now, if I want to find the expression of the cosinus of of an angle theta, I know it's going to be, um, and by the way, uh, we are trying to look at the uh, all the trigonometric um, function regarding the angle theta right here. So the cosinus of this angle is going to be the adjacent side, which is 4 divided by the square root of 65. If you want to get rid of the square root of 65 on your denominator, meaning that we want to have we want to rationalize the denominator. I'm going to multiply by the square root of 65 top and bottom. By multiplying by the square root of 65 top and bottom, it's like if I was multiplying by one, so I do not change my primary fraction. But the good thing is at the end of the day, I end up to have a cosinus equal to four square root of 65 divided by 65. And that, in that case, I do not have any more square root of my denominator. If I want to do the sinus of my angle, now it's going to be 7 divided by square root of 65, meaning it's going to be 7 square root of 65 divided by 65. Obviously, if I could have uh, simplified the 4 with my, square, my 65, or if I was uh, be able to uh, uh, simplify the 7 with 65, I would have done it. The tangent of my angle is going to be the opposite side, 7, divided by the adjacent side, which is 4. Now, if I want to look at the cosec, the, the cosec, the cosec of the angle is 1 over sinus of the angle theta, the cosec, cosec of the angle, let me rewrite that properly, cosec of the angle theta, it's the inverse of sinus, and so in that case, it's going to be square root of 65 divided by 7. Uh, if I want to take the sec of theta, which is the inverse of cosinus of my angle, and it's going to be square root of 65 divided by 4. And the uh, cotangent of my angle is going to be the inverse of my tangent theta, and it's going to be 4 divided by 7. All right, so let, let's try to move on the problem number. Problem number, I forgot the problem number. So let's check this out right here. Problem number um, 9, 15, 21, 25, and 31. So problem number 9. So on the problem number 9, what do we have? On the problem number 9, we have a uh, triangle and triangle with a uh, a equal 150 150 and a c equal to uh, 345 345 and the the direction of the problem is solve the right triangle with the given part round of the result according to table 4.1 figure 4.37 and you have a figure that looks like this, where you know that C is the hypotenuse, A is this leg, and B is the other leg. So in that case, what you need to have is the value of B, because A squared plus B squared equals C squared, 
b square will be equal to c square minus a square. I subtract a square both sides. Okay, and so therefore now I got b b equal the square root of c square minus a square. So if I'm applying that to my triangle, I end up to have b equal the square root of uh, 345 square minus 150 square. So what's the value of that? So let me do the with my calculator. I'm getting a uh, 345 square minus 150 square. And if I take the square root of all of this, so we got the square root of 96,525. And if I take the square root of that, well, I got around 310.68 if I want to write three uh, digits after the period. So now if I want to look at the value of my <laughs> Uh, cosinus, the cosinus of my angle theta, uh, which is the cosinus of my angle, uh, the angle A, uh, and I know that I have A, B, and C, right triangle in C, cosinus of my angle A is going to be uh, B, uh, which is the around 310.685 divided by uh, the value of my uh, C and C being equal to 345. I will let you do the calculation with your calculator. Cosinus, the sinus of the angle A is going to be the opposite. So it's going to be A, um, A we said 150. 150 divided by 345. Tangent A is going to be the opposite, which is 150 divided by 310.685 if I want to increase the number of uh, digit after the period. Cotangent Cotangent of the angle A is going to be the the reverse the inverse of what I wrote right there. Cosec of the angle A it's going to be the inverse of sinus, so 345 divided by 150. And the sec of the angle, oh, this definitely I want to write theta when it's A, is going to be 345 divided by 310.685. All right, now let's do the problem number what? Problem we said, problem number 15, 21, 25. So problem number 15, what do we have in this problem number 15? Uh, problem number 15, we have an angle A, equal to 32 degree, 32.1, degree. And we have a C equal to 56.85, 56.85. So in that case, it's going to be very easy because first of all, if I take the, the C is, I remember C is the hypotenuse hypotenuse okay and uh, I have a so I can uh, very easily calculate the cosinus of my angle a being equal to uh, b over the hypotenuse which is c so b will be equal to c time the cosinus of my angle a I just need to plug that with my calculator be careful be careful the calculator needs to be calculator uh, needs to be in degree mode otherwise you are going to have a problem because you enter a as a degree the uh, sinus of the angle a is uh, a divided by c so a will be equal c sinus a 
the uh, one I have, once I have that, I can calculate a tangent, which is going to be A, uh, A over B. And if I really wanted to, well, <clears throat> basically, I end up to basically have uh, C sinus A over C cosinus A, and I'm supposed to have sinus A over cosinus A. Uh, obviously, I can calculate the cosec, the cosec of my angle A. That will be the inverse of the sinus A, and so it will be C divided by A. I will let you use the calculator substituting the value of A and C. The sec of my angle A, which is 1 over the cosinus of my angle, which is going to be B divided by C. Uh, C divided by B, because it's the inverse, and the uh, um, cotangent uh, of my angle A is going to be 1 over tangent of A, and it's going to be cosinus of my angle A divided by the sinus of my angle A. Problem number 21. On my problem number 21, we're having B this time. B equal... Um, 37 point, uh, 70, sorry, 74 point 18, B equal 74 point 18 degree. Um, and we know that the side B is equal to, <coughs> the side B uh, is equal to 1.849, 1 1.849. So, um, The sinus of the angle B is going to be uh, B divided, the, divided by the hypotenuse C. So if I want to express the hypotenuse C, I'm going to have to multiply by C top and bottom. Now I can cancel out my C and I will have to divide by sinus B both sides. To be able to have C by itself, and when C is by itself, you got B divided by the sinus of the angle B, of the angle B. So once you have C and you have B, you can calculate A, C square plus B square equal, uh, sorry, C square equal A square plus B square. <coughs> and so A square equal c square minus b square and so the side a will be equal to the square root of c square minus b square i'd like to remind you that you have there we go you have c right here and b right there so you can definitely calculate a and once you have a what you need to do is uh, uh, as simple and i should have not changed the color so let's go back to this cosinus of the angle b equal a divided by c uh, we already expressed sinus b so tangent b equal sinus of the angle b divided by the cosinus of my angle b if i was able to express my cosinus b right here well i can substitute this on my bottom which is a over c and if i look at sinus b I said sinus B equal B divided by C. So we got B divided by C right here. So I can clearly say that the tangent of my angle B is it going to be equal to B over C multiplied by the inverse of my second fraction. The C divided out and it's going to be B divided by A, which is expected because it's the opposite side divided by the adjacent. I'll let you do the calculation for cosec, sec, and, uh, um, and uh, cotangent. Uh, but at least let me write the expression of sec, cosec, and cotangent. Uh, and I'm just going to write the cosec. The cosec is 1 over the sinus. So cosec B equal 1 over sinus B. The sec B equal 1 over cosinus B. And the cotangent B equal 1 over tangent B. All right, guys, you got pretty much everything to solve that problem. I will finish the other problem on another video. And uh, talk to you soon.